Okay. Who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> No, 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 don't get me wrong. I've asked the same question to many other Muslims that they got no answers either. So you're not the first one. But it's important to find the answers for this. Because, for example, you're a lady, let's say God comes to you and says, you're my servant. I want you to become my prophet, even though you're a woman. And you're going to tell those men what I want you to tell them. That's your job. And you listen to God, because God has chosen you. Now these men, they're going to say, oh, it's only a woman. God says, don't listen to them. I've chosen you. So God has the women prophets, not just men. They are Hulda, Deborah, Anna, and many others in the Bible. And the men who were God-fearing, listen to them. But in the Quran, there's not even one woman prophet. And the reason Muslims tell me is that, oh, is there, is there women prophets in the Bible? yes, I just said that. Deborah is a, Deborah, Deborah. Okay, you know Mo Moses' big sister, her name was Miriam. She was also a prophet woman. Yeah, it's in the Bible. Yeah, and the men listened to Deborah and the men listened to Miriam. Because God said, yeah, but you see, the point is God can choose men or women to do the same job. Simple, not just men. That's, if somebody tells me, oh, God only selects men, I say, hang on, that's not right. There's something wrong there. And when the names of the women are missing as well, that's equally very strange. That is telling me, well, the point is then who's right? Okay, so why is it different? The Bible is giving the women and the men and the men, women as prophets as well, but the Quran is denying them those things. Well, but where are the names? <laughs> Sarah is missing, Elizabeth is missing, Abishel is missing. No, she's not, she's not. She's not. She is not. Her name is missing. I'll tell you what's there. It says Zechariah. I've read all of it. Yes. I read I made notes. I made notes as I went along. It says Zechariah and his wife. It doesn't say the wife's name. It's not there. Look it up. Right, when you go home, I challenge you, right, away from the crowd, you look in the Quran carefully, you'll find only one woman of her name, Mary. That's it. Okay. Right, that's the only one. That's why I put a poster there. Maryam is the sister of Aaron. And also, correctly, the Quran says wrongly that Mary the mother of the Lord Jesus is the sister of Aaron. Well, there's only one Aaron. Okay, who's the father? The father in the Quran, the father. Hang on, but that's the. Yeah, but that's a mistake. Okay, do you know? But why does the Quran make the mistake of Mary? Listen carefully, right? If your name is Mary, no, but you're not listening carefully. Look, Moses, Moses had a sister. Moses had, listen, Moses. Do you know who Moses was? Do you know who Moses was? Who was Moses? Yeah, who was Moses? Okay, who was he? Yeah, who? Who was he? How many brothers and sisters did he have? And what are their names? Well, simple. Moses. Right. I'm not, but you're not listening. Okay, are you listening? 
Okay, the brother was Aaron. The sister, Mary. Right? But that's the truth. Okay, so why does the Quran change the truth? Oh, really? Well, yeah. <laughs> You can't, you can't, you can't get away from the truth. You can hide. Okay, name one woman was in the Quran for name apart from Mary. She can't answer that. That's why she ran away, right? Why she can't answer that? A very simple question. If the Quran is God's word, why are the women's names taken out? My friend, where's the dinosaur in the Quran? Right. You're not a Muslim, you're a Jewish man. No problem, where's the dinosaur? Okay. The now I'm talking about women, I'm not talking about dinosaurs. <laughs> Why are you swearing? Horrifying! Are you a pious Jew? Ah, my friend Hashem heard you. He has everything. So why do you swear like that? Don't you fear God? Nah, -uh. do you fear God? So your language should fear God. Where's the your dinosaur? language, Where is your the language, dinosaur? your language, the your swearing. Uh -uh. Don't run away from the truth. Uh, Listen, the I was, I'm very shocked that a Jewish man yes. would swear like that. The it's a disgrace. The Why don't you apologize to God first? Where is don't, I don't tell the people to swear. Ah, oh, you're caught out. I don't care whether I support Israel, I love the Jews, but don't you dare swear in front of God. God said the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. And some of you don't fear God at all. There is the one example. At least he's honest. But some of you are dishonest. You don't care. But on judgment day, you're going to face Jesus as your judge. And you, you never heard of a jail, a prison called hell? That's right. No, they, no, no exit. Only one entrance. There's a jail in Shepherd's Bush called Wandsworth Prison. Ah, that's man made. In God's jail, you don't get out. Yes, no out. Because you refuse. To accept God today. So don't, you can't argue with God. You can argue with me because I'm only human. Ah, that's the mouth of a man who's going to that jail. Okay, don't go there. I plead with you, don't go. Jesus says, beware. The road is wide and broad that leads to damnation. But the road is narrow. And few are on it that leads to eternal life. When you hear a man talking like that, you know he's fighting God. Why are you arguing? Who are you that darkens counsel? Huh? Are you? Is your brain better than God? Who gave you the brain in the first place? God. Huh? Okay, where did your brain come from? From What's a his IQ? From a chimpanzee? What's his IQ? Huh? No, a great ape. So the great ape gave you a brain. Yeah. So your brain is that of an ape. Yeah, and so you behave like an ape. Where? No, no, no. <laughs> no, you are. Where did God get his brain from? All of us have got brains that God gave us. Huh? Where They're did he human. Get his brain from? God is the great one. Great one what? The one you should fear. I'm not fearing him. Okay, that's up to you. What am I going to fear him for? Because he can crush you like a little bug. Oh, wow. Jesus came as a savior of the world. Because Jesus is the word made flesh. He did not do a very good job. Oh, he did a good job in he my did life. He saved the world. Yes, he did. And he didn't save himself. The Lord Jesus saved millions of people around the world. And and they trust in him for their lives. They are criminals, lawyers, doctors, liars, blasphemers who accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior.
Yo, you, can, you might be one of them tomorrow morning. Don't worry. <laughs> you don't know. So you don't again, know. What did Jesus say? The Lord Jesus came back from the dead. Who's speaking? No. Mohammed is dead and buried. Yeah, he's a human. Jesus came back from the dead. Oh. Right, so he's more than a human. Spooky. No, he's not. Zombie. Jesus says, look at me, touch me. Jesus is a zombie. Ah, uh, that's your Hollywood movie syndrome. What else can he be? Because Jesus is the creator. Of what? Of all things. In the beginning was the word. And the word was of God. And the word was God. And all things were made by him. And without him was nothing made that was made. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we saw the glory of God, full of glory and grace. Once again. Jesus John the baptizer said, Behold, pay attention. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You're a big sinner. And you need a big savior. Muhammad cannot save you. Buddha cannot save you. Confucius cannot save you. Jesus said, I am come to save. Save me. But he came to save me. Yeah. And I, oh, I am a saved man. Hallelujah. How do you know it was Jesus that saved you? He is the only one who can save. How do you know it was Jesus? I put my trust in him. It could have been Satan. Satan does not save anyone. Oh, 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 oh. Satan could have deceived you. Oh, oh. All right, let's think. Is that true? So why are you asking a silly question? But you don't believe in Satan. And deceived you. But you don't also. All this time. So who's Satan? Who's Satan? Yeah. He's the mythical creature with the horns. So if he does. Jesus made. So if he does not exist, why do you? Don't exist. So why are you talking about if he doesn't exist? Jesus. Hey, God bless you, brother. Jesus said. I am the resurrection. I am the way back to the Father. I am the truth. I am the life. Amen. Hallelujah. You are jealous. That's why you're bowing. Okay. Is God your father? Say you're an orphan. Is God your father? No. You don't know God. <laughs> he can bite you, you know. Yeah, go on then. Show me. Show me. Another, another, is that with faith? Aha. Uh -huh. You have faith in nothing. It's not genuine. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're a liar. But your faith is nothing. And it's better than nothing than making stuff up. So where did the cement come from? Where did it come from the cement factory? Uh, so, uh, but the factory does not exist, remember? No, it does. Oh, how do you know? It's up in there. You're a liar. You never, don't even know what it's called. It's so, called cement factory. Don't tell lies. You have not been there. Where did the tree come from? Where did what? Where did the tree come from? The tree comes from the tree fairy. Where did the grass come from? The grass fairy. Where did the flowers come from? Beans. Where did the sun come from? Another sun. So you don't know, do you? I just told you. How do you know? Um, I read it in a book. Which book? It's a science book. Written by a man. You wouldn't understand. By a man. Who wrote your Bible? So, oh, God wrote it. God wrote the Bible. That's right. God never wrote the Bible. Tough luck. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They wrote the Bible. A man. Uh, inspired by whom? Inspired by Mary Taylor. Oh, that's your problem. The Lord Jesus is coming back again. Hallelujah. Do you know Jesus is coming back as the King of Kings? Why is he okay. Now, the reason why the Bible is true is because Jesus came back from the dead. 2,000 years ago. Who saw Jesus come back from the dead? Oh, very easy. 
uh, over 510 people saw him. See the 500 people see him die? No. Come back. How did they know he's dead? Because the dead body was in the tomb three days before. They never saw him die. And now they saw him alive. That makes sense. There were people from dead. Who saw him die and who saw him come back? Mary. I did. Mary. Mary. And the other Mary and Lazarus. Two Marys. Two different people. His mom and his girlfriend. No. Something silly. There were different people. Yeah. They had the same name. Mary's mom. Yeah. And his girlfriend, the other Mary. Who said girlfriend? You did. Friends. It's a girl. Excuse me. So you don't have friends. I have lots of friends. Are they girls or boys? Both. Uh huh. So are you gonna say that's my girlfriend? Yeah. They're not. Just a friend. My girlfriend. Uh, that that context is different. I have lots of girlfriends. Oh, so you like to fool around, huh? What? Fun. So you like sexual transmitted diseases as well? Uh huh. Well, be careful. That's what you're gonna get. Oh, you like they like him? It makes you think. Yeah, he's a dinosaur. He's a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> Makes you think. Where did the real ones come from? No, no, where did the real ones come from? Who made the real dinosaurs? Yes. This is plastic. Where did the real one come from? Who made it? Who made it? Jesus created the dinosaurs. Yeah, and Jesus made you, you, Jesus made you, yes, so don't laugh, he made you, when you meet him on judgment day, Jesus is a judge, don't be silly, you're going to meet Jesus on judgment day, you know, okay, the Lord Jesus is the creator, Yes, he is. All, all things were made by him, including this animal in real life. He's a magic carpenter. Okay, including you. No, Jesus says, let there be light, and there was light. Let there be waters, and there was waters. Let there be animals, and there were animals. So Jesus uses the word spoken from his mouth to bring things into existence. Alakazam, walking on water. Tough, you can do it. He created you. No one. He's your creator. Then you don't know who Jesus is. Before Jesus, only Jesus. What do you mean how? The Holy Spirit. Oh, you don't know who Jesus is, do you? Jesus is God in the flesh. I know, I know. It's hard to, it's hard to understand. It. That's right. That's why you must read the Bible. God bless you. Be careful. Jesus is the great I am. I am the way. I am the life. I am the truth. Say the Lord Jesus. Now, we say these words because Jesus said them. But the Bible says, Awake, awake, O Zion, and take on clothes of righteousness. So we need to wake up and realize that Jesus is King of Kings and is coming back again. Amen. God bless you.